Usman Ahmed. Um, I've been a police cadet for a year and a half, um, and I do I run a hate crime project here at Toka Youth Space. Um, I've been a hate crime ambassador for about six months now, and I got involved um, through the, uh, during the summer holidays in uh, last year in 2016. Um, I got involved through uh, through my work as as a police cadet, and um, as I'm head cadet, they I got nominated to run the project. Um, uh, from a lady called Catrice. Um, so the Hate Crime Ambassadors is, uh, is a project that is run by 12 to 16 year olds and um, it's a group of 12 to 16 year olds and we've got about 10 Hate Crime Ambassadors and they learn about the five different strands of hate crime here at Toko Youth Space which is located um, in, the cent in central Luton, just, uh, just behind Luton Borough Council. So my role as a hate crime ambassador, as lead hate crime ambassador, is to plan the sessions um, and find speakers from different backgrounds, from LGBT all the way to disability speakers. Um, at the sessions, we uh, every session is different, so every session they'll learn about a different um, different strand of hate crime. I start. I learned about hate crime through through police cadets, and once I learned about it, 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 it piqued one of my interests to help reduce hate crime because um, there was this because a number of incidents that were being recorded had gone up. So that's the, hence why hate crime busted started. So Toko Centre is located on Gordon Street here in town, and the group meets here on every two weeks on a Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Togo Centre is a youth space for 13 to 18 year olds and 25 with a disability. There with a variety of projects going on from Tuesday to Saturday with general drop-in, disability projects as well as LGBT and a, and a vast amount of other projects. People can, people can help, um, help reduce the number of hate crime incidents by coming and reporting it here at TOCO. TOCO is a, uh, is a, is a third party reporting centre along with victim support and CYCD. People can come here and speak to any member of staff who will help them report hate crime on 101 or uh, True Vision which is an online reporting tool where you can report it anonymously or you can tell them your name. Um, I want to thank Andy for nominating me for the award because he knows how passionate I am about hate crime and about reducing the number of hate crime incidents that happen.